Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Gospel Reflection for this Tuesday in the 17th week of Ordinary Time. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Gospel today comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 13, verses 36 to 43. Leaving the crowds, Jesus went to the house, and his disciples came with him and said, Explain the parable about the darnel in the field to us. He said in reply, The sower of the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world. The good seed is the subjects of the kingdom. The darnel, the subjects of the evil one. The enemy who sowed them, the devil. The harvest is the end of the world. The reapers are the angels. Well then, just as the darnel is gathered up and burnt in the fire, so it will be at the end of time. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all things that provoke offence, and all who do evil, and throw them into the blazing furnace, where there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. Then the virtuous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. Listen, anyone who has ears. The Gospel of the Lord. The parable of the wheat and the weeds provides profound insight into the nature of the church and the kingdom of God. According to the interpretation given by Jesus, the field represents the world and the good seed are the children of the kingdom, while the weeds are the children of the evil one. This parable teaches us that the church on earth is mixed body is a mixed body containing both the righteous and the wicked the wheat and the weeds the lord in all his wisdom allows both to grow together until the harvest which is the end of the age at that time the angels will separate the righteous from the unrighteous, gathering the wheat into the barn, heaven, and burning the weeds, the wicked, in the fire. This parable cautions us against the temptation of seeking to create a pure church or society by our own efforts. Instead, we must humbly accept that the mixture of good and evil is a reality in this world and trust in God's perfect judgment at the end of time. We must be patient and allow God's plan to unfold. Ultimately, this parable reminds us that the kingdom of God is not fully realised in the present age, but is a mystery that will be revealed in its fullness at the end of the world. Until then, we are called to persevere in faith, bearing fruit as the good wheat and leaving the final judgment to the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me for our Gospel Reflection today. 
I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And until then, take care. God bless.